Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So I hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So this is week two assignment of the course cloud computing. So guys, uh, we have been giving solutions for the past five years. So with utmost consistency. So for this season also, we are going to provide you guys for free of cost. So if you want more videos from us, please like the video guys. Definitely share that with your friends in WhatsApp or uh, student groups so that it will be helpful for other students also. They will also get benefited like you. And please subscribe our channel for further updates guys. So this is week two assignment. So I hope almost all solutions are correct. So if there are any changes to be made, please bring it to my notice guys. I will update in the comment section. So before final submission, once again, check here if there are any updates available. So first question, please watch the video till the end guys, because if I change any solution in between, you can be able to note that only if you watch full video. So definitely watch till the end guys without skipping. So first question, what uh, generally stores the cloud subscribers metadata like user credentials and OS images? So for first question, the correct answer is option C guys, DOS, data object storage. So mark option C. Now let's move on to the second question. Second one. Universal description, discovery and integration. That means UDDI in short. So it represents a format for data exchange designed to hold and convey data objects that are made up of pairs of attributes and values. So is this statement true or false? So for second question, the answer is option B, false. So mark option B guys. Now let's move on to the third question. Third one. Which factors should an organization consider while planning to deploy an outsourced private cloud. So for third question, the correct answer is option C guys, both network dependency and risks from multi-tenancy. So mark option C. Option C guys. Now let's move on to the fourth question. So the fourth one. What is or are the main differences between virtualization and dual boot? Dual boot. So for fourth question. So the answer is option A. In virtualization. Both operating systems run simultaneously, but not in dual boot. So mark option A as correct option for fourth question. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the fifth question guys. Before moving to the fifth question, so I want to make a small announcement guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So for the cloud computing course, we have prepared exam preparation MCQs guys. Last time also we have provided and many students have bought and got very good marks guys. I have got very good reviews for these preparation materials. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have prepared this guys. So this is the email ID if you want to purchase. So here you will get a huge number of 300 MCQs guys, 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So last time we have provided these 300 MCQs for 500 rupees guys, even for one person also. But now we have reduced the price because to reduce the burden on students, we have reduced the one person price for 300 only. That means for each MCQ we have charged just one rupee only. For one person it will be 300 rupees for 300 MCQs guys 
and for 2 to 5 persons it will be 500 rupees case that means if more persons are included then the price with each individual price will be reduced so if you are only one person and no person to share you can take it for just 300 rupees only guys so we have reduced the price for yourself in order to get 300 mcqs for just 300 rupees itself so hurry up guys already many students have taken and got benefited also so if you want to buy then only message me guys so this is the email id guys bk1794178 at red gmail.com so start preparing from now itself so that it will be helpful for you towards the end no need, no need to get under pressure so prepare from now itself and remove the pressure from you and you can concentrate on other subjects so the validity will be till the exam date guys in some cases it will be till the results arriving so so you'll get a lot of time to prepare this guys so this is the email id i will give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section you'll get a huge number of 300 mcqs guys which is more than two years and ptl questions right so these are carefully planned mcqs guys which covers almost syllabus so hurry up guys so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section of the video only if you want to buy then only message me guys to this email id so and there is another thing also that is youtube membership guys so this these are mc mcq videos only available for members of our channel guys you will get 100 mcqs 119 rupees only guys for one person for one month this is different guys so the 300 mcqs is part of pdf not videos and youtube membership is a video format guys you will get 100 plus mcqs for 119 rupees per month guys if you want to get these videos you can go to our channel page directly guys you can type s kumar edu in the search box so here you can see that right we have prepared members only videos for cloud computing part one and part two so if you want to get these videos you can click on this join button guys hello click guys on this join welcome button. to this channel so in this video i am going to and select this 119 per month option here and click on join and make payment that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all our members only videos guys you can get all courses for the same 190 rupees but you are getting only 100 plus mcqs guys but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack because you are getting more number of mcqs to prepare much better and to cover much much more syllabus for one person it is only 300 rupees only guys for two to five percent it will be 500 rupees so this is the email id guys if you want to buy these 300 mcqs mail me guys if you want this youtube membership video no need to message me you can directly go and join our channel so that's it guys now let's get back to the syllabus so fifth question web services enhance distributed interoperability through the use of open standards enabling any two software components to communicate and are designed to address firewall issues so for fifth question the correct answer is option a that is true guys option a true moving on to the sixth question sixth one Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud UEC is an example of what guys is an example of what so UEC Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud is an example of option C private cloud guys option C private cloud private cloud so mark option C now let's move on to the seventh question Seventh one, cloud manager is the public access point to the cloud where subscribers are dash up for accounts and has a mechanism for dash subscribers. So in the first blank, it should be sign guys, it should be sign and second one, it should be authenticating. That means option B guys. So mark option B as correct answer for seventh question. 
now let's move on to the eighth one so the eighth question hypervisor is also known as what so hypervisor the other name of hypervisor they are asking so for eighth question the answer is option d virtual machine monitor virtual machine monitor so mark option d moving on to the ninth question ninth one simple object access protocol soap provides a way to communicate between applications running on different operating systems with the same technologies and programming languages so is this statement true or false so for ninth question the answer is option b false option b false so mark option b guys now moving on to the last question of the assignment that is 10th one in the final question so before moving on to this final question i want to once again make you remember so that we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs so with nearly 5 years of nptel experience we have prepared this guys so you'll get a huge number of 300 mcqs through this google drive link so you have to mail me to this email id to in order to purchase this so for one person it will be 300 and for 2 to 5 persons it will be 500 rupees guys we have reduced the price for one person access from 500 to 300 itself so already many students have taken our packs and got benefited in the final exam so pre prepare from now itself in order to reduce the burden at the end so this is the email id guys so i will provide this same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section now let's move on to the final solution so for 10th question while dvm operates on the documents as a whole dash passes operate on each piece of the xml document sequentially sequentially so for 10th and final question of the assignment the answer is option c sax s a x so mark option c as correct answer for final and 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 2 assignment of cloud computing so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share that with your friends so that it will be helpful for them also to get benefited through our channel and please share the video guys and so once consider this so we are pro providing the exam preparation mcqs for the cloud computing course you'll get a huge number of 300 mcqs no one is going to provide this number of mcqs only our channel is giving that so for one person it will be just 300 rupees only and for two to five person just 500 rupees only guys and if you want to get video format you can go to our channel page and take the membership by joining the channel but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack so already many students have taken our pack guys so be one of them so this is the email id i will give the same email id in the description box you can mail me regarding which subject you want and how many persons access you want guys so already many students are started taking our packages so that's it for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you